chapter was amazing. Okay, so the first thing I need to talk about is the bits and pieces in the beginning. This chapter doesn't have a lot of content to it, to be completely honest. That's not for Luffy and Sanji parts. So there is a small part in the beginning where everybody conversing. We find out Pekka is alive. We find that out. And Ch Nami revealed Luffy and Sanji in a fight. The, up to this moment, that was just, that was a, pretty much a secret between her, Luffy, and Sanji. At least from a straw hat perspective. Like, she was the only other person besides the two of them that was there. So she revealed that Luffy and Sanji had a fight. Chopper freaked out, he crying. I got a chuckle out of that. That was nice. Now, another part that I like was the part with Insmoke. It was nice to be reminded they were there. It's been a while since we got anything with them. Nothing new. We just know that now they're... You know, we, we, we just know we already knew. Like, they want to use Big Mom's influence to reconquer the North Blue. So they're saying, as long as we have the Jolly Roger of the Big Mom Pirate on our flag... There's no way anybody will interfere, and there's no way anybody will fight us. We can just walk into the North Blue and just take it over. But granted, uh, none of the Straw Hats knew what the Yonko were. Pro no, a lot of the Straw Hats didn't know what the Yonko were. Now the Straw Hats are all, even Nami can be stupid as fuck sometimes. So, maybe that's why, but granted, they didn't know who the Straw Hats Yonko were when they when Garp first introduced the concept of Yonko. So who knows? Maybe people in the North Blue wouldn't recognize Big Mom Jolly Roger and would just be like, well fuck you, Vin Smokes. <laughs> I don't know, it's a possibility. But so then we get you know, they say uh this is like the one thing Sonny ever done for them. Really fucked up shit. And uh sorry everyone who knows. And then we get to the best part. Alright, but that's part of the whole chapter. This amazing thing with Sanji and Luffy. Sanji said there are three reasons why, why you can't go back. One, the obvious, he disrespected and attacked his own captain. Which is true. He did do that. But Zoro's not here and Luffy doesn't care. Zoro doesn't need... Now, I do feel like this is going to come back to bite them. I mean, Zoro going to find out. I think through some means, Zoro will find out that Luffy missing toots. He'll interrogate somebody. He'll find out. And he's going to be like, why the fuck is he here then? Like, what the fuck did I say in Water 7, boy? You are the captain. Demand some respect. Maybe that will lead to a Zoro versus Luffy fight. I have a feeling that's where this is going. Now, then he said the other reason is that his two greatest saviors are Zeph and his crew are in danger of being held hostage. And three, his family, as much of a dick as they are, and even though he doesn't consider them family, are in danger and he doesn't want them to die. So, he said, that was the reason I can't go back with you. And then Luffy sucker punched him in the crop of fate, called him a liar, and told him to tell him the damn truth. And he said, I want to go home to the sunny with you guys. And, and he said, and Luffy's like, and all those things, that's just who, that's just you? Let's wreck this wedding together. And that is about it. Yeah, this is a very basic chapter structurally. I love the, the Luffy versus Sanji bit. I actually would have gotten a little emotional. I may have like teared up a bit. It was just this thing Luffy and Sanji together again. If Manga Stream had it messed up and pulled up like an alternate tab, and you like one of those pop up tabs when you pop into it, yeah, that just popped up. It's happened two weeks in a row now. It was really annoying. I'll have to look into that. But, uh, yeah. That's about all I have to say for this, um, this week. For this week's chapter. I know it's a very short review, but it's a very basic chapter. Not, not much meat to this chapter. There's not much thing to have opinions on. It's a lot of really emotional moments. Not much information is revealed. I really liked the chapter. Thought it was really good. Love to see where Lucy, my favorite panel, I got to be, there are two of them. But, anyway, like, I want to go home to the study. Love that. And the thing where Luffy 
is like, let's wreck this wedding together, and he's grinning. And uh, by the way, is it missing to God? It may have been God in that panel. I'm not sure, but I really hope we can get the two back. Me, he looked a lot stupider without his two. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of One Piece chapter 856. Like the video if you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts in the chapter in the comments. Uh, subscribe for more. I need to go. These normally won't be out of that as early. I would just up, so I figured why the hell not. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.